what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? On April 29th, a murder was committed at a juvenile facility in Kalamazoo, Michigan. 16-year-old Cornelius Fredericks was murdered by staff members after throwing food at some other kids. That's pretty much it, fam. He threw some food at some kids. And as much as six staff members sat on his body until they took the life out of him. Sound familiar? These cop types, they got it bad with sitting on people and suffocating them. I mean, they just sat on dude. Now, in the video, you see the kid at a table by himself. And there's a table in front of him with some kids, some boys. And, you know, he's, he keeps pretending that he's going to throw food at them. And then eventually he does throw food. And then several minutes pass and he throws food again. This time, staff member sees him and starts approaching him. A couple of staff members saw him. They start approaching him simultaneously. So for a, month, for a moment, it looked like, you know, they was just going to talk to him. One of, one of the staff members took his tray and threw it in the trash can, threw his food in the trash can. Came back. These two guys, big old dudes, hovering over him. They're talking, they're talking, they're talking. Eventually, Cornelius throws food at the boys again while he's talking to the staff members or while they're talking to him. Throws the food, one of the staff members pushes him off his seat onto the floor. As he hits the floor, he throws food again at the boys. Obviously, this is all fun and games to him. He could not have predicted that his life was on the line. So these two staff members get on top of him and then others join in. And then one of them that was dressed in all black, he come running over there like a police officer. Do you know how police officers come running in, jumping in, just piling on, don't even know what the situation is and just start getting really, really aggressive. That's, the, that's what he did, just started grabbing him. I couldn't see what part of his body he was grabbing, but he was very aggressive, just, you know, just manhandling. So uh, this went on, they sat on him for 12 minutes. The, uh, the law says, the, the, the law, in terms of uh, this Lakeside Academy, their rules say that only uh, up to, I think they said two to three people can, uh, can participate in a takedown. This was seven. Also, it says that the limit should be 10 minutes when restraining someone. This went on for 12 minutes. They sat on top of him for 12 minutes. And it wasn't until after 12 minutes that 911 was called. Now, Cornelius was unresponsive all the way to the hospital. What happened is that he had a heart attack while they was handling him. He had a heart attack and he was unresponsive all the way to the hospital. Two days later, he died of cardiac arrest. By the way, he never regained consciousness. The two staff members were charged with voluntary manslaughter and one nurse was charged with voluntary manslaughter also for just standing around watching the action. The family has filed a $100 million lawsuit You know, this type of violence happens often in juvenile facilities. 
I know that I know people that work work at these facilities, and I know kids that have attended them. I have spoken at many of these facilities. I talk to kids, and they tell me that a lot of these staff members are very rough with these kids, and they violate these kids. They also have sex. They have sex with these kids. It's very rough in these facilities for kids who are already going through a crisis and they're being handled by people who don't really have the skill set to deal with troubled kids. This kid obviously didn't belong in a detention center. He should be should have been receiving some type of medical help, uh, medical therapy. He should have been receiving some type of help, some type of mental health. Because obviously he had some loose screws. But murder for a food fight, well, not necessarily a food fight, but for throwing food, murder, that's a death sentence. And you know they're going to try to spin it. Well, you know, he was a bad kid. Look how, look how bad he was. If he hadn't threw the food, he'd still be alive. This is the type of society we live in. These are the type of people that are out there. These are the type of parasites that live amongst us, uncivilized people who live amongst us who would try to justify the murder of a 16-year-old kid who was throwing food. That's it, fam. He didn't shoot anybody. He didn't stab anybody. He didn't hit anybody over the head with a bat. He didn't pull a gun on anybody. He threw some food. Granted, that yeah, okay. He bad. He got some issues. But that kid didn't deserve to die. Every single person that was involved in that takedown should be prosecuted and sentenced to the maximum sentence. They should be handled ASAP. And when they get to prison, there should be no mercy for them. No more talk. What the talking about?